Assalamu alaikum. Peace be upon you, our respected viewers, and welcome to a new episode of the Beliefs of Islam. This is Hassan Hadi with you. In today's episode, we will consider an introduction to the miracles of the final prophet. Now, some Orientalists and Christian missionaries, on the basis of certain verses taken out of context, in which the Holy Quran responded negatively to the demand of the idolaters to work the miracles proposed by them, have claimed that the Prophet of Islam told the people that he had no miracle other than the Holy Quran, and if they did not accept it, he could do nothing further. Some modernist Muslim writers who carry an obsession with the providing only naturalistic scientific explanations for everything also have accepted this view and explaining it, they say that the miracle is an argument which can convince only a mature humanity looking for something extraordinary and fantastic. A mature man is not impressed by such things and is concerned more only with the things rational. As the age of the Prophet of Islam was that of rationality, not of myths and fancy, he declined by the will of Allah to accept any request for a miracle besides the Holy Quran. As one such modernist writer says, to seek the help of the miracles was unavoidable for the former prophets, for in those days it was almost impossible for them to convince people with any rational arguments. At the time the Prophet of Islam appeared, humanity had passed the period of its minority. It had reached the stages of its intellectual majority. The child of yesterday no longer depended on his mother and was able to stand on his own feet and to use his own brain. In such circumstances, it was not unreasonable that the Prophet of Islam resisted the pressure of the disbelievers and his opponents as well, demanding it from him to work miracles out. Now, upon proving the truth of his mission, he solely relied on rational arguments and historical evidence. In spite of the insistence of the disbelievers, the Prophet of Islam, by the order of God the Almighty, refused to work miracles similar to those of the former prophets. However, he relied on the Holy Quran alone as an incomparable timeless miracle. Its incomparability is in itself a proof of the finality of prophethood. It's a book that contains truth, teachings and guidance in complete conformity with all the aspects of life. It's a miracle worthy of mature humanity, not an immature humanity believing in myths and fables. Such attitudes became popular among its clergymen and rationalists is obsessed with packaging Islam under the branch of modern scientific knowledge, particularly from the early 20th century. Of course, such an attempt to view religion under the lens of naturalistic scientism is absolutely flawed and is contradictory to the doctrines of Islam and all major revealed religions which place an emphasis on the supernatural. In the next few episodes, we shall be exploring some of the miracles of the Holy Prophet and more importantly, we'll focus upon the miracle of the Holy Quran. This is the end of today's episode. Until we meet with the new episodes, thank you very much indeed for being with us until we meet again. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.